All right, and we are back. Okay, somebody can talk now. This is weird. What is happening right now? This guy's freaking me out. Cut, cut away, cut to something else. A few years ago, I made a video on a show called F-Boy Island, which was basically just a bunch of crypto bros on an island trying to out-douche each other. There were some pretty funny moments, but ultimately it was forgettable because there wasn't really much of a format to it. They acted like they had one in the beginning, but really, they didn't have a plan. They just set them all loose on the beach, and it didn't take them very long to find a bench press. And then one of the F-Boys will go on a date with some girl on a boat and be like, Hey babe, I saw you from the other side of the island earlier, and I could, I could totally see us investing in crypto together. Honestly, I think I'm falling for you and nothing could change my mind except maybe if I talk to some of the other girls here. I haven't talked to anybody else yet. So you know what? I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go ahead and put you on the back burner and we'll talk it over later. Anyway, I'm getting off topic now, but that show was bad enough. Now just imagine if they took the exact same concept, but nobody spoke the same language. Just a bunch of American dudes on an island, but with women that don't speak English. So they're just left to stare at each other. I'm talking about the show Love and Translation. And this is the thing I'm always complaining about in 90 Day Fiance. Couples that are unable to communicate because they don't speak the same language and they're struggling with the translation. Later. Well, this show doesn't even allow them a translator So all of the dudes don't really know how to impress the girls because you, you can only show off your body for so long And then after a certain point it just gets weird because they have no fear of saying the wrong thing So they just say anything that comes to their mind Sarah. She's she's gorgeous. She's got a great smile She's got long beautiful brunette hair. I'm already starting to picture our future together the power couple He's already picturing their future together and he just met her today and hasn't even been able to have a conversation with her But luckily this guy exudes pure charisma so he doesn't even need to know Italian to impress her. Squat, lots of weight. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> when they first get there, nobody really knows what to do. They give him some wine and blueberries, and then everybody's just kind of standing around, staring at each other, chewing on blueberries. And this guy's like, you know what? All these other dudes are just standing around. I think I could gain the advantage by actually doing something. I, I know exactly what to do. And then he proceeds to do the weirdest thing I've ever seen, and the cringe was so strong it transcended the language barrier. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. we have us some blueberries. Yeah. Have me a couple of blueberries. Yeah. I'm gonna have me a blueberry. And the girls are like, you know what? I don't know what the hell he said. I don't speak English, but I'm gonna stay away from the guy with the blueberries. He's gotta remember, all they're seeing is just some crazy dude singing to a blueberry. And you'll see a lot of moments like this on this show because these guys just don't know what to do. So they just wind up losing their minds and singing to blueberries. See, normally on this kind of show, these guys could just walk up to a girl and just say a list of buzzwords. What do I do for a living? Pfft, I'm a crypto influencer, financial entrepreneur slash personal training actor model fitness instructor gym Instagram TikTok, but that doesn't work here so they have to resort to plan B which apparently is this yeah, yeah. a blue bear for you a blue bear for me what is happening blue, blue blue blueberry for all so then they run out of blueberries and the attention shifts to this guy who starts dancing with the girls and the blueberry guy is just off to the side left out to dry like what the hell am I gonna do now how am I ever gonna top that yeah y'all see it y'all see it yeah we see it we see it we're all yeah. sitting right here Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Meanwhile, this guy's off in the back trying to find another plate of blueberries. It makes sense that they would start dancing since there's nothing else they can really do. And this is where you see all the guys just resort to the most basic shit they can think of to impress the girls. This guy just does a backflip for no reason. It's like a little kid trying to impress their parents. Look, look at me. You're gonna miss it. Look, mom, look at me. You're gonna miss it if you don't look. And then all the other guys are like, shit, what are we supposed to do now? You bunch of chumps, allow me. And this guy steps forward and goes to do a backflip but slips on a blueberry and breaks his neck. Khalil is over here doing backflips and impressing the women and it makes me a little nervous because I can't do anything cool like that. Hey, no flipsies, no fair. Nobody said you could do backflips. Maybe I could show these women I'm a good provider by starting a fire on the beach out of wood. Then he just darts off towards the water. Do foreign women find that Tom Hanks from Castaway look to be sexy? Maybe I'll swim out in the ocean and wrestle a tuna. So next, things go from weird to extremely uncomfortable when they want everyone to stare into each other's eyes for two minutes. This guy gets way too into it and then he says one of the funniest things I've ever heard. I feel like our body language or our vibes are really just talking to each other more than our words are to our vibes can we just retire the word vibes please at this point he's talking about how good their vibes are but i don't know how good their vibes would be if she could understand the sentence that he just said moon trip looks at me very intensely look into his eyes i get curious and i want to learn more about him So they have this moment and this guy's like, wow, I have never experienced something along the lines of 
things that such such that of which I think I like saw her entire life through her eyes. Her eyes look like two little blueberries. <laughs> This is weird. I don't, I don't like this. As I'm looking into Giselle's eyes, I swear there's an exchange of each other's life stories. Okay, then tell us something. What, what, what's one of her life stories? But no, of course not. All he says is he could tell she's been hurt. I wonder how he figured that out. Just from like looking into her eyes, I could tell that she's been hurt before. Perhaps she too slipped on a blueberry. We can feel everything we've been through before. And I feel like there was just this, this connection like, boom, we've both been through something. Dude, I totally felt that too. I saw the psh, the psh was strong with you guys. You guys had a very strong psh. The crazy thing about all of this is I feel like it's actually going better than it would have if they all spoke the same language. This dude is incredibly lucky that nobody here speaks English. So anyway, after they're all done staring at each other, all the girls go back to their room and the guys go back to their room and they all talk about who they stared at the most and what they felt when they stared at them. At the end of the day, who did you stare at the most? It's a hell of a question. So for me, uh, it, it's, it's Sarah. So while they're all talking about this, one of the girls walks in and starts to complain about how their room isn't as good as the room the guys are in. Apparently she's joking, but the whole thing is so awkward since they don't understand each other. Bref, je suis et vous n'êtes pas les bienvenus. Voilà. Hmm? So now they're all like, I don't know what's going on because she doesn't speak English. You know, it would like really help if she spoke English. You know, if we could understand each other, that would be pretty tight. And that's pretty much the whole show. They're always just saying the obvious, but then at the same time, they're forgetting because this girl walks in like they're going to understand her. Who? Us? Us? <laughs> Don't pick this? Are you saying you don't want to be picked by any of us? This is pretty much just the charades version of F-Boy Island. I honestly can't believe they squeezed an entire season out of this concept. How do they keep this going? There's only so many backflips you can do and only so many blueberries you can eat before eventually you're like, what, well, what are we supposed to do now? It's really going to be hard for them to get to know each other at all if they don't have a translator the entire time. But at the same time, I don't think they get to know each other on F-Boy Island either. These kinds of shows are pretty much just about looks anyway. So I guess this concept does make sense. <laughs> Guys, you do not understand what I'm trying to say. You don't understand anything at all because of the language barrier. Exactly. I had the wrong idea about American guys. I'm shocked. Uh, you're shocked that they didn't spontaneously learn a new language? How would they understand you? And this is the first example of how all of this leads to miscommunication. She was apparently joking, but kept trying to explain it to them and wouldn't leave. And they took this as rude because they were just tired of her trying to explain it and not understanding it. And then the blueberry guy is like, hey, you're being kind of rude. Would you mind leaving? And of course she doesn't doesn't know what he's saying, but she can tell that he's upset. If, if you can understand this, we're having a very serious discussion here. Would you show some respect and just for a moment, would you please leave? So then she goes back to the other room and starts talking about how American guys suck because they don't understand anything. And I'm like, hey, that's, that's not why we suck. I want to ask you on a date, uh, okay. yes or no? No. No? Squat, lots of weight. <gasps> Anyway, that's about it for this one. I know this is a pretty short and random video, but I just wanted to share this with all of you. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's Day. Before I go, just a quick reminder to check out my Patreon. There's going to be a video uploaded there this weekend, and also the podcast, which is on Apple and Spotify, and episodes are posted every Thursday. Anyway, have a good week, everyone, and see you next time. Ladies and gentlemen, we have us some blueberries.